we've just entered a robin's camp absolutely beautiful uh, lots of plants cacti succulents it's got a lovely restaurant nice deco a lovely pool if you fancy a dip They have used painted elephant bones to show the parking bays. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty cool. So Robin's camp was um, privatized a few years ago and fully renovated. It's absolutely beautiful. Haven't checked the prices, but it's probably a bit more expensive than the park sport accommodation Andy yo yo what do you think of this place is this more your style yes a bit more luxurious this this rough Robert's too poor to afford it I can't afford this kind of accommodation we're going to go going back to park sport accommodation and uh, you're going to love it, Andy. Okay, we have left Wangi National Park. Uh, we entered the far southeast corner and we made our way slowly through the entire park pretty much and we are exiting um, near Robbins camp in the northwest and heading to Victoria Falls now and Zambezi National Park we don't have bookings or anything we're just gonna wing it myself by recording him I drive really smooth for a while and then I wait till his mouth falls open and his head starts bobbing and I pull out the camera and pull out the camera and uh, some shots of him he tried to actually get me back for that last night because yeah, by recording me in the middle of the night snoring but what he doesn't realize is I edit these videos. So, and it was pitch dark. So I'll just say it was Andy snoring. My car's name is Barry. Full name, Big Bad Barry. Uh, Andy and I have been trying to come up with a name for the, the trailer. What do we have? Was our best? Well, it's Italian genie. So we we're gonna call her. We we're gonna call her Matilda. But I'm thinking maybe Jackknife. I don't know. Barry and Matilda has a bit of a ring to it in Barry and Jackknife. So yeah. But anyhow, we we'll, we'll keep thinking. And by the end of the trip, I'm sure we'll we'll have a name for the trailer. So when towing in Zimbabwe, you're required to have a red and white tee on your trailer. These have to be of a certain size on a black background and they have to be made of either diamond grade or honeycomb grade reflector tape. I couldn't buy that 
the right stickers so I had to make these up uh, just bought some tape from Midas and because we're going back on the tar we're gonna have to attach these uh, red for rear I'm gonna attach these on the front and rear of the trailer <sighs> vehicles in Zimbabwe are also required to have reflectors um, on the front and rear outer sides uh, red on the rear white on the front also of diamond grade or honeycomb grade tape um, these reflectors need to be at least 50 millimeters wide and 60 millimeters long. This is all very, this is all very important information. Um, well, I read online that you get stopped a lot in Zimbabwe and if you don't have your everything absolutely perfect, you get fined. However, we've been through quite a few roadblocks and every single one we've just been waved on. So it seems that uh, it's not as bad as people make it out to be. I removed my side mirror to attach the um, camera mount, but I have put some extra holes in the mount so I can put the mirror back on. If I have to do a short section of tar such as this, I wouldn't normally use an electric drill for this, I just can't find my screwdriver. So this was the quickest option. There we go, and we are road legal. Six tires takes a bit of time to pump up, but look what Andy's been doing for me while I've been doing the tires. Thank you, Andy. <laughs> Enjoying that. <laughs> you were hungry. <laughs> Yo, yo, wait for me, man. Wait for me. Whoa. Rob! Rob! Wait for me! Come on, Andy. You get the, the drive-away shot. I did. Nice work. All right, we have pumped up the tires, refitted the side mirror. Um, what else did we do? Put our T's back on the trailer. I made a delicious Andy made lunch. A delicious lunch with like we call bread. It was surprisingly tasty. Had a coffee, and now we're going to head onto the tar road and head across past Big Falls to the Zambezi National Park. Check out my mirror. It's beautiful. Yeah. Looking good. Would you mind adjusting it a bit? Because uh, look up ahead, Andy. There's a big bird. Oh yes, I can see it on the GoPro. That is it's a, so close. That's a, that's a Marshall Eagle. That's very cool. Uh, oh, can we see it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the viewers can see it, Rob. <laughs> and they see that little speck that is a massive eagle. <laughs> 